Hi, Renee. Uh, I'm going to try and explain Paul Berger to you as best I can. Uh, this guy is very heady stuff. I mean, it's all concept. Um, the actual visual pleasure is, uh, in my opinion, subjugated more to the idea. So here in front of me, uh, I have uh, the piece called Mathematics. And he got this idea while walking by a blackboard. Um, and he started taking pictures of the blackboard. This is at, at one of the universities he was teaching. And he started taking pictures of the blackboard with a malfunctioning camera. And what happened, this was like pre-digital. This was the, the, the uh, <clears throat> analog days. So uh, he got a lot of double exposures, uh, layers of um, formulas written over one another. And uh, so he started, he continued in this line. So a piece like mathematics, um, he creates layers of images of mathematical formulas on a university blackboard. And uh, he explores what, in Berger's words, Berger's words, he calls the site of notation, the point at which an idea becomes graphic. So he's basically playing with the visual version of a, thing, of a thought or of, of various thoughts, of complex thoughts. So it's layers of graphics representing thoughts. So, so he continues this by going to uh, uh, the card plate series where he investigates possibilities. And in my opinion, this plays off the idea, uh, again, of the Dusseldorf School, that, that you know, <laughs> uh, Bernd and Hilla Becker, who initially in, you know, pre-digital world in 1950 or so, post-war Germany, photographed industrial architecture and uh, they were very repetitive of uh, water towers coming across like so. Oh, I should, you know, something I should have um, can come up with an, an example. I don't have it. I, I can't take the time right now. If you Google uh, Burned, B-E-R-N-D, and Hilla, H-I-L-L-A, Becker, B-E-C-H-E-R, you will see what I'm talking about. Uh, they... Well, I'll use water towers as an example. They photographed German architecture after World War II, and they would photograph, let's say, nine uh, water towers across like so. I mean, here, um, Berger has like 24 plates here, 4, 8, 12, 16, 19, more, 22, 23, 25, counting this big one, 25 plates. They had, I think, typically nine or 12, like a dozen. And, but, the, you know, the... Towers would be slightly different, but very much the same. And the same is going on here. Um, there's a basic, these cards are, uh, you know, a substructure to the whole image. Uh, and you could see them in many ways. Um, you could see them as playing cards. You could see them as, uh, uh, you know, cards de visite on a, on a, on a sheet that was, that was printed, an uncut sheet. Um, you know, you, there are several ways to look at this. And then we see that each card has three picture units. You have a photographic part right here. I'll use the big one as an example. A photographic part, then a thin vertical part with uh, images faded in there, a horizontal part with the images implied. And all these three parts at the intersection are held together by a three-dimensional object. In this case, it's either a sphere or a chair, so, or a combination of sphere and chair. And then these, these images are taken either from artwork or the news or uh, his photography, uh, com you know, computer screen, uh, you know, the weather girl here on TV. <clears throat> and it, again, it's laying, it's layering imagery and like a game token. Um, so they're distinct units. They're similar, but yet they're distinct. So uh, this could be, again, this could be a card game. It could be a sheet uh, of uh, different drawings or photographs. It could be many things. It's possibilities. So there, there is like, I think it also plays with the idea that uh, we are so involved with imagery. At what point do we separate imagery and experience? Um, that's the best I can explain it to you. It's, it has to do with imagery, experience, memory, knowledge, and uh, 
heavily, heavily conceptual. So um, that's the best I can. I think this that's the best I can communicate it to you. At any rate, uh, Rene, uh, you made, you gave it a valiant try, um, and uh, I, I appreciate what you did. All right, till next time. Take care.